Weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Grace Anello and the Wing 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. 1014 on your Sunday evening and there's a little bit of rain and some storms in the area. Now I'm watching some rain and some showers diminish here in Morgan County, pushing south and east into Coleman County. Now our strongest storm that we are watching is right here in Marshall County, pushing over Lake Gunnersville and slightly southeast. Now we did have a little bit of rain in Jackson. Since then that has pushed south south as well, and that is now in DeKalb County. Now, these storms are going to continue to push east into Georgia, and they're expected to be completely out of our way by the wee hours of the morning. Well, even with the storms, we're looking beautiful, and hey, if we stay here just long enough, we might... That was a flash of lightning right there on Guntersville Cam. Did y'all see that? That was pretty exciting. All right. Well, we're looking beautiful on each of our sky cameras, even with the lightning. The rest of us are seeing some cloud cover finally start to decrease today, and that is certainly a good thing. Well, in Huntsville right now, we're measuring 64 degrees. Good night to all of you. Good night in Gunnersville, even with your thunderstorm. Your temperatures are at 63, and over in Moulton, you are at that 64 degrees as well. Good night to all of you. As we head through the rest of the evening, of course, we do see those rain chances diminish there by the time we get to the wee hours of the morning. Those temperatures will hang out in the low 50s and then eventually get to about 51 degrees and that will be our overnight low, which means that as you get the kids off to the bus stop tomorrow morning or yourself off to work, well, we're talking low 50s yet again for your wake up and out the door temperature. Now we will still be very cloudy at that point, but there's going to be a little bit of change in that forecast as we head through the rest of the day. Take a look at this. That looks pretty good for us. By the time we get to noon, we're on the cooler side only at 63 degrees, but the sun is out in plentiful amount. Our high temperature for the day at 3 p.m. is 66 and then take a look at 9 p.m. We're already back in the 40s so we will be significantly cooler than what we've seen for the last few days and that trend is going to continue. Now this is showing our overnight lows and as a result our likelihood of frost. Take a look at Sunday excuse me Monday night Tuesday night and Wednesday night. We're definitely going to see frost in our region. We're talking about wake up temperatures there in the upper 20s and on the frigid side. So we're warmer here on Monday, mid 60s, very cold on Tuesday. We're talking mid 50s at that point. Your wake up temperature that day in the upper 20s. The same thing can be said on Wednesday. Your wake up temperature there yet again in the upper 20s. So as you head the kids out to door, make sure you out the door, excuse me, make sure you bundle them up and maybe give the car an extra little scrape on the windshield before you're ready to go. The sunshine does follow us through the second half of the work week and weekend as well. We gradually warm up throughout the rest of the week, but our highest temperature really does come to us on Sunday, still only in the mid 70s. So those wake up temps in the 20s for a good bit, then we finally graduate to the 30s and it's the low 40s that carry us into the weekend. So welcome fall. It's officially here.